Hey guys, it's Dan again from Digital Uptake. Hey, today I wanted to share with you a new market scanner that I found, right? Uh, a couple days ago, I shared with you a crypto market scanner, and I'll just show it to you real quick here. Um, I introduced you guys to this new uh, crypto market scanner, uh, which is pretty good, and I've been using it actually for, for quite some time now, and uh, it's been working fairly well. And I just wanted to make you aware of a new tool that I've discovered that's, that's similar, but it's actually, it, it offers a few more capabilities than this. Um, so if you remember, last time we looked at the crypto market scanner, you know, you, you looked at the basics. It basically tells you or alerts you when there's a, a percentage change um, to a particular coin on any one of these four exchanges, right? So anytime one of these coins, anytime the price drops below a certain percentage, and you can actually set that up here, right? Right now I have it set to 8%. Uh, but anytime it drops below that percentage, you will be alerted, right? You can be alerted uh, right here through this, um, through this dashboard. They don't ne necessarily have email uh, alerts yet. Uh, I'm sure it's coming, but they don't have it quite yet. Uh, but this tool has been pretty pretty effective, right? So anyway, today I wanted to uh, inform you or let you know about a new tool um, that I've recently discovered. I, I just signed up. I'm not a paying customer yet, um, but I just signed up and it, it looks like it does have some promise. Uh, it's called Coindera. So if you go to coindera.com, you'll be able to see what this is. Um, they basically are another cryptocurrency market scanner, um, but they have a bit more functionality than the last scanner I just showed you. Um, and you can kind of see here on their homepage, right? They can track and alert users based on the price point of a particular cryptocurrency, based on a percentage change of that currency, you know, the price goes up or down, um, or, you know, a regular update. If you want to get a daily update on the price at a certain time, you can get that as well. So fairly similar to what we see in the other crypto market scanner, but just a little bit more robust, a little bit more features. Um, so let me go ahead and sign in and I'll show you kind of how it works, even though, again, like I said, I'm not a paying customer, so I can't show you all of it, but I can show you some of it. Uh, so let me do that real quick. Oh, something happened there. Let me log in. Sorry about that. All right. So, okay. So like I said, I just signed up for this, but um, here's how it works. You would go in, you can go to set an alert by price point. And it seems like it's taking a little while to load here, but it should, okay, here we go. And then you can select the market that you want to monitor, right? So in this case, let's just say I want to monitor Bittrex, right? That's a good market. And let's say I want to measure or monitor, uh, let's just try to find Bitcoin here. I got to put in Bitcoin. Let's see if I can type it in. Bitcoin to US dollar tether. That's what I want to monitor. Um, and then I want to, oh, you can monitor based on, or you can get an alert based on the buy price, a sell price, a high price, a low price, or a volume. So there's quite a bit you could do with this, uh, you know, more than the other crypto scanner. Let's say, for example, I wanted to track, um, you know, Bitcoin on US Tether based on volume. So if the volume goes past a certain point, and here's an example right here, right? If it goes uh, past 34.45, you'll be alerted. Um, and you can set, I like how you can set, you know, if it's greater than or less than, I think that's a pretty good feature as well. Uh, what I would mainly use it for probably is, uh, you know, the low price and then potentially on the buy and sell prices here. Um, and it'll email you by email. I'm sorry, it'll alert you by email, um, unlike the other scanners. So I think that's pretty good. Um, and you can do multiple, multiple scans, right? Um, you can also, and I don't think I'm going to be able to show you this specifically because I'm not paying yet, but you could do it by percentage change, regular update, um, or even a market update like I was just saying. So let's just jump in here and it's going to ask, I think, for, yep, you need to uh, actually purchase, right? But one cool feature of this is that you can get alerts through your phone. So anytime any of those um, uh, you know, prices are hit, you can get an alert with your phone. So they'll text you, message you whenever an alert's hit. And that's pretty nice because right now I can't do that on the crypto market scanner. There's no way to email it. There's no way to send the alert to your phone. Um, and so I like this feature pretty, pretty good. I mean, I like it quite a bit because um, that's key. A lot of times when I get the alerts and I'm not at my computer, um, I can't do anything about it, right? But if I get a text message, then I could run to my computer and I could make a trade if I, if I want to, right? Um, I also like how they show your activity. I don't have any alerts yet, but I do like how they show your activity. Um, and then uh, these are just the channels. Channels. Uh, the one thing here I wanted to highlight is pushover. So pushover is, is an automation service. And what this will allow you to do is it'll allow you to push the alerts into other systems, into other technologies, right? 
So you could use this to send it to your email. You could use this to maybe you know plot or document um, any alerts on a spreadsheet. Uh, maybe you want to document it uh, on a blog. Uh, you could use pushover to send these alerts anywhere you want. And this can be effective for a lot of different things. And I may actually experiment with it and try it out. Um, if I set alerts on here, I may try to push it to a central location so that people you know, watching this video um, can see my alerts and actually get my alerts when I, when I make them and then my trades as well. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to uh, let you know about this particular tool. Uh, I'm going to be testing it out in the next few days and I will let you know how it goes. Um, so while we're, while we're talking here, um, let's jump into a particular trade I made. Uh, a few days ago, uh, let's see, this was, I purchased on, let me just mark it up real quick, right here and right here. So I bought down here, I sold up here, right? Um, it was another one of my my trades. So I'll show you again how I made this trade, but, but look at this. Just think about this for a minute. This is a huge swing. I went and I bought at the bottom of 28.07, right? And I sold all the way up at 32.03 and I sold a little bit more at 33.25 and I could have, whoops, and I could have sold uh, even higher, right? I could have sold way up at 37, but uh, I, you know, don't wanna be greedy, but uh, that's not the real reason. The real reason is that you never know, right? I was suspecting that this was gonna drop back down at least to you know here, but you never know. So I sold, I got out, I, I made a, a, a huge percentage there, right? I mean, gosh, 20, 28 to, to 33, that's, that's enormous, right? That's, that's fantastic. Um, so I was very, very pleased with this. This one didn't hap happen quite as quickly as my other ones, right? Um, this one happened in the matter of 817 is when I bought August 17th and I sold August 19th. So it was a two day span, right? And some people that may make uncomfortable, they like, you know, some people like to get in and get out that same day. Um, sometimes you have to wait and that's fine. I mean, and what you do need to do is look at the charts and look at the spaces, you know, uh, in between the dips and the rises, you know, the bottoms and the highs, look at how many days it takes to, to actually, uh, you know, to get those. And with this particular chart, let's take a look the 13th to the 14th, right? I'm looking at, if you can't see, I'm looking at this bottom and this top, looking at this bottom and this top. Um, you know, and, and they take different amounts of time. Some of them only take a day, like, you know, most of them take a day, but when you're talking about a big spread like this, it will take a little bit longer. Um, so let me mark up here. Okay. So let me just show you, let me just show you how I did the base trade on this particular, particular chart, right? So I was monitoring it coming through as I normally do. I would monitor, I would mark my base because there's a jump right here. Um, again, there's another jump right here. Um, so all that's a big jump. And then there was a huge drop all the way down to here, right? So technically I could have traded and bought anything right down in here and then sold on this upswing right here. Um, but I didn't, I waited, right? I, I probably wasn't watching the market at that point. I don't know what happened, but anyway, so let me mark my bases. There's another base right there. And what I did do is here was the last base that I checked and my alert went off when it hit this base and then it kept going slowly, slowly, slowly down. And so I bought decently below the, the, the crack in the base, right? And then I kind of, you know, I, I waited, I waited, I waited and I knew it was going to bump back up. I didn't know exactly when, but I knew it was going to go above this base, right? It typically always meets the base and, and exceeds it, you know, more than, more than often than none. Uh, so I could have sold around here, but I didn't. I waited a little longer because, you know, looking at this chart, I just knew there were wild, wild swings in many different directions. And uh, I knew that I could probably get away with waiting a few days. And you could see another gap right here, kind of the same exact scenario. And it, it's almost it's almost too easy that, you know, you buy when the base cracks and you sell when it goes back up. It's, it's crazy. I mean, the stock market's not this easy. Uh, you know, the penny stock market is not this easy. I mean, it, it's similar and you trade in a similar way, but there's a lot more manipulation. In the cryptocurrency markets, you know, there's not as much manipulation today and there's a lot of emotion. You know, there's high, high volatility. Prices are going up, they're going down and it, and it leaves the opportunity to, you know, to, to, to make a lot of money on these swings. And that's exactly what I did here. So anyway, I wanted to show you that. Um, let me clear this all out real quick. Oops. Let's see. Ah. 
Okay, let me clear these lines out here. Uh, how do I reset this here? Anyway, okay. Well, anyway, that's that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, hopefully, this was helpful for you. Um, Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Um, again, ask any questions you have around drawing bases. Uh, and you know, if you have any questions about this, let me know. But uh, hopefully that's helpful and I'll make another video in a few days. Have a good one guys, later.